Hi guys, um, welcome to the second Rex video for Tomes and Treasures. I'm going to be doing the races. So if you don't know what Tomes and Treasures is, it is a D&D readathon that Gem and myself are running. Um, it is all based on D&D and um, this one is going to be about making your character. I'd said nothing like that in my last video and I felt really, really guilty when I watched Gem's video and she was all like on it and stuff and I was like, oh, maybe I should have said things. <laughs> You live and you learn. So to create a character, you have to pick a race, a class, and a bunch of other things that I'm not going to go into. If you would like to see, please go and have a look at the announcement video. And at some point there will be TBRs coming. I'm very, very excited. But we decided to take um, some of the races and we are decided to do some wrecks for them. There are four races that we are not touching, which is human, barbarian, half orc and elf, because all of these are subjective to your taste. And just because I, that we have books, things like Intimidating Read, what's intimidating to me isn't gonna be intimidating to you. We have um, a five star or a definite go-to. My five stars aren't gonna be the same as your five stars. Um, so those ones we are just not touching. So we have four, races each and mine are half elf gnome tiefling and dragonborn so we're going to go through those we'll start off with half elf and the prompt for half elf is multi-genre so i was thinking about this because this is this is difficult in the sense of the major one that i think of is romanticy um and i didn't want to just do romanticy so my first pick is naked and death by jd rob um jd rob is um nora roberts um, <laughs> which I never thought I'd be recommending a Nora Roberts book on here. However, um, this was a book that I read when I was in um, uni. It was one of my friend's favourite series and it is essentially a sci-fi like crime novel with a bit of romance in and it follows, um, I genuinely don't know what to how to describe this apart from that but it's like based in like 2058 and it's like it's essentially a, a crime book in the future and i really enjoy these books they're really fun <laughs> i read two of them i think um it's it's uh, it's worth it i i enjoyed them and i just think it's something a bit different and yeah the next book i'm going to talk about for this prompt is a book that i have um been talking about a lot to a lot of people. I recommend it to two friends in the last 12, 24 hours. 12. Both of them have been a day. Yeah, so I've recommended this twice already today. Um, and that is The Serpent in the Wings of Night by Carissa Broadbent. This book has like has my heart. It was so good. Um I just bought fancy new copies of this because Fairy Loot decided to put them out there. And I had no intention of buying them until I saw them and went, I need some of those. Um, this follows our main character, Aurea, who is a human in a vampire world. And she is the adoptive daughter of the vampire king. And she has to go and do some trials to try and get some more power. And um, this is romance. It is fantasy. And... I would even argue in certain senses it's a bit dystopian-y because it just feels very very grim and very dark and it gave me dystopian vibes and I don't know why it might just be a bit grim dark but I love this series so much I cannot wait for the continuation of this series so good the final book that I'm going to talk about is a staple it is the Sarah J Maas book um and it is Crescent City so this is a um urban fantasy style book it is um it's got magic it's got it's like a it's got crime in it there, there's a lot that goes on to this i'm not going to tell you the synopsis of this because um i think that it's best to go into this book blind so i'm not going to tell you too much about this book the next race i'm going to talk about is norm which is exploration or invention so this is not my cup of tea. I'm not a big exploration person. I'm not an invention type reader. I was thinking about it and I was like, a lot of books that have those vibes in it, I don't love. Um, so I picked out 
a few books. So the first book that I'm going to talk about is The Martian by Andy Weir. So this is, I'm um, going to make Andy very happy because I know she loves this book. Um, I obviously really love this book as well um, because I've talked about this on multiple occasions in some of these rec videos. Um, this is about Mark Watney who um, is on an exploration mission to Mars and something happens and he gets stranded on Mars and exploration. Perfect for norms. The next book that I'm going to talk about is The Space Between Worlds by Micaiah Johnson. Um, this is a book about parallel worlds. It is about a character who can jump through parallel worlds and you can only visit the ones where um, your alter ego person who lives in the parallel world who's the same as you is no longer living in that world and she goes to these worlds and does that and um then it starts to appear i think that people are being killed off i think i can't really remember this one i'm not going to lie i just remember i really enjoyed this book it was fantastic it's sapphic um and it, it's that exploration of worlds which i really really enjoyed it's really interesting to kind of see what happens in these books i really recommend reading this book i'm not going to lie the last book I'm going to talk about, um, I'm going to have to put the name of the author here because I do not know it off the top of my head and it is um, The Other Side of Lost. This is a book about um, a girl who is an influencer who was supposed to go on this hiking trip with her cousin. Um, they planned it for ages and then they drifted apart and then her cousin passed away and she decides to honour her cousin. She's going to go on this um, hiking trip by herself and it's kind of figuring out and exploring who you are um it's a really really good it's a YA contemporary um it's heavy without being too heavy it explores a lot of kind of feelings and understanding and kind of being kind to yourself and finding out who you are when your world is turned upside down um it is a really beautiful book it does have um a hiking trip so you're exploring in that but also it kind of explores like the human psyche and all of that it's very very good i really enjoyed this book this is one of my favorite races um this is tiefling and the essential one for tiefling is read a queer book um there is a joke that if you are bisexual you will play a tiefling guess what my character is going to be in this um <laughs> tomes and treasures readathon <laughs> Um, so I get to give you a few um, recommendations that are queer, which is even better. I really, really enjoy sending these out there. Um, so the first one is Perception Check. Um, I can't remember the author again. I'm going to put it here. Um, this was a book that I read and it is fantastic. The author is trans and um, there is the main character is queer. The author has um confirmed it so that's great um but this is about a girl who goes through something really really traumatic with her best friend when she is younger and then years later her friend goes missing and years later she comes across a um player's handbook type thing and there's things in there that lead her to believe that her friend has been taken into this world and then it's kind of like her kind trying to find her way to this world to find her friend um it's fantastic i really enjoyed this book it was a lot of fun it was very very different um it is quite heavy in places it does talk about like loss and depression and things like that and i think that you kind of have to go into that knowing that um but it's it's really really good i really want to read the next book i'm very curious as to where this book is going to go the next book, again, I'm going to have to put the authors down here, um, but this is This Is How You Lose the Time War. I'm not going to tell you anything about this because I think that the less you know, the better for this book. Um, it's very short. It is dual perspective and it's great. It's really good. I really recommend that. The final book of book series, I'm going to like stretch this a little bit, is the Die Graphic Novel series. This is one of my favourite graphic novel series. It is four volumes. It is fantastic. This is about a bunch of friends who used to play TTRPGs as children and one day they get pulled into one of the games and they go missing for a long time and they appear back and then years later when they're older they end up having to go back to the world. This is 
very very queer in multiple ways and it is fantastic this is one of my favorite um graphic novel series i actually would say this is my favorite graphic novel series if i'm being perfectly honest um everything about this series was perfect i loved it so much if you couldn't tell i wanted to kind of like add some D, D related things into this so i wanted to kind of pair that with the the queer in some ways but yeah it's easy as picking out a book that you love that is just completely queer the final race is dragonborn and this is a book with dragons um gem was very much like i need you to pick this one and i was like it's fine i got you i got you and then i quickly realized there's a lot of books with dragons and there's a lot of books that i haven't read <laughs> um so i kind of had to like figure it out so i picked three um so the first one is the hobbit by J.R.R. tolkien I don't think I need to say anything about this. This is about Frodo who goes on an adventure and he is a hobbit and he goes and um, follows some dwarves into an adventure after a big grumpy wizard comes and be is like, go have an adventure. It's great. I, I love the hobbit. It was a lot of fun. The next one is Dungeons and Drama. So this is about a girl who um, is obsessed with musical and she does something that is not great and she gets punished for it by going to work in her dad's shop so she goes and she goes and has a romance and there is a dragon on the cover so we, we're going to count it the final one i'm going to talk about is um six crimson cranes and unfortunately as i was doing this i realized i don't remember exactly what this book is about i do know it does have a dragon in it though um I do remember I really enjoyed this book. It was, it's a YA fantasy and it's very, very simple and it's very, very fun. And I think it's about her brothers, her brothers get turned into cranes, I know that. And it's like, she has to reverse the curse. It's very strange. It was a very, very good book. I really enjoyed it. And I know it's based on like Chinese mythology and it was really, really interesting to read and I really enjoyed it. But I read so much that it's completely gone out of my head and I feel really bad about that. Um, but I definitely recommend it. And that is my four classes. Um, let me know if you have any other books that you would pick. Leave them below. I'd love to hear. Um, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.